everyone, it's Ms. Kylie from the Mulberry Public Library. I am excited to announce that Polk County Library Cooperative, also known as PCLC, has just dropped an app that you can use on your cell phone or devices. I'm going to show you how to download it onto Android devices. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your Google Play Store. You're going to click on that search bar. You're going to type in Polk County Library. It's going to be that very first one with the white logo. So if you click on that and click install, once it has downloaded, you're going to click open. This is going to take you to a generic menu. Um, and But the main thing you want to do is actually sign in. And you're going to click on the third option, which is my account. I'm going to click on sign in. And now you have two options on how to sign in. So you will need your library card handy for the barcode number and your PIN number. If you don't have a PIN number, you can always give us a call or stop by and we can give it to you. So you can either scan the actual library card itself or you can type it in, whichever you are more comfortable with. So I'm actually going to show you how to scan the barcode with the camera. So you're going to actually just hover over the barcode itself. And it will have a green line on there, and it's going to input it for you for the actual number, but you will have to type in your PIN number. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. Go ahead and log in. And this is going to be your main menu. So um, our main library is going to be Mulberry Public Library as our home library. So that's why it kind of has a teal color and why our icon is at the very top. Um, I'm going to go through some of these tabs with you. So let's start with the very first one, the scan ISBN barcode. So say for example you are at Books A Million, you find a book on the shelf you really are interested in but you don't want to pay for it and you're like, hey, I wonder if the library has it in their system. So what you can do is either you know type in the title and author at the top right here or you can actually scan the barcode like how we did before with your library card, but for the book. So you just kind of hover over the book. On the very back is usually the barcode. And you're just gonna kind of hover over it until it reads it. And then it is gonna pop up. It's gonna pop up where you can click on it and you can see which libraries have it available, um, the genres, uh, you know, place a hold on it or check it out and so forth. So that's a really cool feature. The second tab is going to be nearest libraries. So obviously the nearest library for us is Mulberry Public Library. If you click on that, you're going to be able to see our hours of operation, our address, how to get directions, our phone number, and it also has a direct link to our website. And we are really excited to announce that we just revamped our entire website. Um, so definitely go check that out. Here's kind of a sneak peek of our homepage. It is user friendly and very mobile device friendly as well. So definitely check that out. Um, the third tab, which is my account, is the most important tab. So I'm going to go through some of these and show you um, how they work. So this very um, first tab is going to be checkouts. So if you click on that, you're going to be able to see all the items that you have checked out under your account. So for example, we have Uglies by Scott Westerfeld checked out. It says the due date is July 16th. If you click on it, it's gonna give you the option to uh, renew it, or you can also view item. So if, say for example, I wanted to renew it, you would click on it, and item renewed successfully through the Mulberry Library. Yay! So now you can go back. The other option is to view item. So now you can see, you know, all the libraries that offer this book, the genres, the date of publication, and whatnot, um, if you wanted to place a hold on it. Uh, but if you do go back and you were, for example, you were wanting to renew the item, so like you can see here, it doesn't give that option anymore. You've either reached your limit for renewals, or it is possible if you have a brand new item that you may not be able to renew it because people are waiting for it um, or have it on hold. The next option is holds. So again, I don't have any holds here, but it would list them just like how your checkouts would. It would list everything you have. Um, and the really cool thing about this is you can actually click on each and every one and see where you're at in line for the item. I know this is especially handy for those of you that like to order 
the pre-pub books and the pre-pub DVDs so you can kind of see your number um, gradually get smaller as you get closer for it to be sent to you. The third option is going to be fines. Now we don't have any fines here but if you did it would list everything um, by the item that it is, the type that it is, so like if it's an overdue item, a damaged item, or a lost item, how much it costs, and so forth. It'll be very detailed so that way you know um, what everything is for. Now the fourth option is a really cool feature that PCLC has added. So say for example you have two children and instead of trying to log in and out of this app with all of their cards or trying to find their cards, um, the easiest thing to do is actually you can add them all onto yours. So you would just click the add button and you can either scan their library card or type it in um, and it'll pop up in this area. Um, so it would have their names listed and you could click on them and see what their fines are, what they have checked out, um, which is really handy, especially if you um, have a big family. Now the fifth option, which is social, is actually for our social media. So these are going to be direct links to our profile pages for Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, so for example, say we went to our Facebook, it's going to redirect you and take you right to our Facebook page. Now I encourage all of you to check out our social media. We try to update it as um, frequently as possible. So like, for example, we have our summer reading and the summer reading links on here, um, any of our updates and everything like that. So definitely check those out. All right. So the next important thing is going to be online resources. So this is actually going to show you the apps that are available for your device that you can check out for eBooks, e-audiobooks, e-magazines, and so forth. Um, so the that we offer at the Mulberry Library, our app is RV Digital. So this have magazines, books, and audiobooks. Um, however, you can also use Lakelands, which is Overdrive, or also known as Libby, and Hoopla. So definitely check those out if you're more of a um, device reader. The last and most important option or one of the most important options is going to be what's on. Now this is going to redirect you to our event calendar for the Mulberry Public Library. You're going to click on Mulberry Main Branch and this is going to list you all of the events that we have going on for June and July. If you see that it has registration is open that means registration is required in order to attend that event. Um, so say, for example, we were to sign up for Dungeons and Dragons, you would click on it. You could see that registration is open with that green button. You would click on that and type in all of your information. You can also see that three spots are remaining and that you can also actually add it to your Google Calendar, which is really cool to get reminders. And that So yeah, that is it. If you have any questions or concerns, please give us a call or stop by and ask us. I hope you enjoyed this video and goodbye.